another day another video about bleeding and coagulation disorders in the previous videos we have talked about the d dimer the plasminogen activator inhibitors and the alpha 2 antiplasmin today we'll talk about the genius and it's an actual genius called thrombomodulin which modulates the thrombin from being pro-coagulation into being anti-coagulation genius with that being said, now let's get started. Thrombomodulin. If it ends in IN, it's a protein. It's an integral membrane protein. What the flip does that mean? Let me tell you. In a previous video called cell membrane, I've talked about the cell membrane, which is composed of protein, lipid, and carbohydrate. The lipids are a lot, but proteins are the most prevalent. Now, those proteins are not just one size fits all. They come in two types, integral membrane proteins and peripheral membrane proteins. The integral, they take the whole freaking thickness of the cell membrane. They are the channels, they are the carriers, they are the pumps and other structures. And by the way, they are the thrombomodulin. Then we have the peripheral proteins and they make the enzyme, the receptor, the anchor, whatever. So functions of membrane proteins are numerous. And please watch my previous video on cell membrane to learn more. During this slide, I would like you to do without your stupidity just for two minutes. After this slide, you can retrieve your stupidity back. Please pay attention. Think of coagulation as two pedals in your car you have the accelerator or the gas pedal or the throttle and you have the brakes those are the accelerator of coagulation and the brakes of coagulation more coagulation with this less coagulation with this okay thrombomodulin integral membrane protein on the surface of endothelial cell yada yada, yada we don't care thrombin plus thrombomodulin we have the thrombin thrombomodulin complex or TTC. TTC will activate protein S, which in turn will activate protein C, which will inactivate the active factors 5 and 8. Factors 5 and 8 are pro-coagulation. When you inactivate factors that are pro-coagulation, you end up with anti-coagulation. So, in a sense, thrombin is exerting negative feedback on itself. Because thrombin is pro-coagulation. Now it's involved in the formation of a complex that's anti-coagulation. So thrombin is as if exerting negative feedback on itself. Now look at the magic. Let's talk about heparin for a second. Heparin works by activating antithrombin 3, which I've talked about in a previous video. Then antithrombin 3 will inactivate thrombin as well as factors 9, 10, 11, 12. So heparin just applied the brakes, just the brakes. With heparin, you get less coagulation. Okay, fine. Now, notice the miracle called thrombomodulin. It converted thrombin into this TTC, this complex, which will inhibit coagulation. Thrombomodulin applied the brakes while releasing the accelerator simultaneously. How did thrombomodulin release the accelerator? Because now you have less thrombin, baby. Because you took all of the thrombin that was pro-coagulation, converted it into something that's anti-coagulation. Now you have less acceleration and more breaks at the same time. Because now the amount of thrombin available in the plasma is low because all of the thrombin is now in the freaking complex and this complex is anti-coagulation. So you are stopping bleeding by inactivating factors 5 and 10. This is one. And you are decreasing the amount of thrombin which is pro-coagulation and this is number two you are applying the brakes while releasing the accelerator at the same time see how genius thrombomodulin is thrombomodulin my hero decreased the amount of thrombin and at the same time created a complex that will inhibit coagulation because thrombin is called thrombin. I-N means protein and throm means thrombosis. Thrombin is literally the protein of coagulation. When there is no thrombin, there is no clot. It's not gonna happen. Got it? It's taking the fire 
and converting it into a fire extinguisher to put out the fire. Freaking amazing. So if you think of coagulation as an accelerator and a brake, it will make all of hemostasis and all of the disorders that we'll talk about later a piece of cake. So accelerator breaks. Accelerator means more coagulation, breaks more mean less coagulation. So example, any procoagulant. Example here including the thrombin. And here you can add all of the coagulation factors. All of them are accelerators. Now the brakes, the anticoagulant, the thrombomodulin. Why? Because it took the thrombin from here, converting it into thrombin thrombomodulin complex, which inactivated protein, or sorry, activated protein CNS, inactivated factor 5 and factor 8, and now it's anticoagulation. Heparin. Heparin is a break. Yes, it's an anticoagulant. But heparin is not the actual hero. The actual hero is the antithrombin-3. Heparin just takes the whole credit. So, because repetition is the mother of pedagogy. Thrombin plus thrombomodulin. Thrombin thrombomodulin complex. This complex will activate protein S. S first. S before C. I don't care about English right now. S comes first. This will inactivate factors 5 and 8. So protein S and protein C are breaks to coagulation. They stop the coagulation train. They are anticoagulant and so is thrombomodulin. Chances are your professor never told you that and that's why you are watching my videos and I'm proud of you guys. I really like you. I would like to serve you and help you. So please subscribe and hit this bell. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram. I have many cases, over 90 cases on Facebook and they are not available on YouTube. Also, if you need more cases that are even not on Facebook, go to patreon.com forward slash medicosis. I have 50 hematology cases and they are available for a limited number of students. Thank you very much for watching. As always, be safe, stay happy, and study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionalis, when medicine makes perfect sense. Medicine and sense, two words that don't go together. It's like saying airline service.